turning out good. All right, so I think Kendra is on the phone with the doctor. We're finding out if anyone else in our family has celiac disease. I just got off the phone and we got back the results for three of us. We're still waiting to hear one more result. I'm on pins and needles. I just, oh, I just wish the results would come in already. These two have a great system worked out. Isaac is reading while pushing Janae. She's so happy. It's been about 10 minutes so far. Is it hard to read and drive, Isaac? I don't recommend reading and driving real cars. Yeah, I won't do that. Way to honk that horn. Go, girl. He's changed up the course a little bit. He's going around the kitchen table now. So how far are you now? 43 pages. Nice. Thank you so much for hanging out with Janae. She's loving it. Trying to pack yourself up in that box? All right, Janae, where should we package you up and ship you to? <laughs> should we send you to go see Maga? We might just need a bigger box. Do you want to have a bigger box? Let's get you a bigger box. Um, we're at the grocery store and we're going to have a special tour with the dietitian to tell us what we can eat and what we cannot eat that is gluten free and not gluten. Yeah, the dietitian is going to help us find all the gluten free stuff, right? Gluten-free desserts. Yes. This is the right spot. Yummy. Gluten-free cinnamon rolls. Yes. And they taste really, really good. Well, that was incredibly helpful. She listened to Caleb and helped him find things that were important to him, like granola bars and cinnamon rolls, but she also listened to me and helped me find pasta and spaghetti sauce and some of our staples that I haven't really known exactly what to do with. Grocery shopping right now has become kind of like a treasure hunt. You find what you want, you turn it over and read the label, and then if it says gluten-free, you cheer for joy. All right, Caleb, you tell me if it's gluten-free or not. Look right there. Gluten-free! So what are you girls wanting to make today? A dollhouse. Out of what? Cardboard. So they want to make a dollhouse out of this. That's gonna be a pretty big dollhouse. We found a huge box for Janae. Ah! She doesn't like it. Laura's been decorating hers. What did you draw down here? Look very close. I see your name, and is that tic-tac-toe? Uh-huh. Awesome. I won. You won? Way to go. Janae's trying so hard to help. You getting the tape right there? <laughs> You did it, good job. I made a ton of progress when you were gone. I put my door there, and so this is my first two layers, and then I'm gonna put another layer right there. Ooh, it's gonna be a three-story house? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I finished my dog house. I love it. This is the bathroom that can open and shut the door. Nice. It's important to have with the bathroom. So which rooms are these gonna be? This is the living room and this is the kitchen. Very nice. And then what's, what's this in the back? A backyard. Nice. That's gonna be so cool. What's and it also part? helps it stand. What's That's important. Part? Oh, that is the entrance. So what's which rooms the are these? This one is another like kid room. And this is the playroom, the attic. Nice. Okay. I love it. This is the best project I've ever done in my whole entire history life. Why do you like this project so much? Because you get to make it and it's homemade. Like if you bought something and it had something that you didn't like about it, then it's a problem. But if you made it, it's however you want. Yeah, you can design it. Uh -huh. You get to be creative with it. Now I'm going to paint it. I am too. You're gonna, gonna paint, paint too? Mine. I love that. So now how many pages have you read today? I have read 133, and I'm almost done with the book, and I'm not stopping until I'm done. Well, have fun. It's turning into purple. Sometimes Isaac reads and 
interesting positions. I just don't like sitting for like three hours or something. You can read however you want to read. This is a playroom because it's that This is actually really pretty. I'm finished. You finished painting? Uh-huh. Looks great. Did you get a little paint on you? Yeah. Got some paint on your legs too. 296. I'm at 152 pages. You still got like 50 more. Okay. Go to it. Well, I'm getting ready to tackle a big project. I'm going to be cleaning out the pantry, which has been needing to happen for the last couple weeks anyway but I'm specifically wanting to go through and get rid of some of the gluten stuff that we just shouldn't have around anymore. And Caleb wants to help me. They make freezers super easy to clean, so you clean them all the time, <laughs> and they're not disgusting at all. I started on the pantry. I did one shelf, and then I got overwhelmed with all the decisions, and it's really discouraging. Like, every box I turn around, wheat. Every can I turn around, wheat. But so you have created a little storage pile over here of stuff that we're gonna be giving away. Yes. This is all gluten-y stuff. And you took out the entire <laughs> freezer. freezer. You always have to make a bigger mess before it gets clean. That's true. So that's the part we're at right now, the really messy part. And it's dinner time. Just throwing that in there. <laughs> I know what we're making for dinner, I just haven't made it yet. That's okay. Do you want me to do it? Uh, let me get the freezer put back together. Okay. He just finished the book. Harry Potter number two, how was it? It's so good. What do you want to do now? Let's go get number three. What? You just read, how many pages did you read today? 197. And you want to read more? For sure. This is what we call Frito pie. Mine's got lots of veggies on top. This is what Janae's Frito pie looks like. It's all about presentation. <laughs> but she really likes it because she loves the beans. Nene, let's say a prayer. Uh. <laughs> All right, these are gluten-free Oreos. Trying to break it? Yeah. Can you twist it? Does it twist mm -hmm. open? Do you ever do the like wish? Ah, there. Ah. That's a lot of filling. Perfect. So what do you think of gluten-free Oreos? I love them. Yeah, they're totally good. Totally good. You like it? Yes. Really hard to do. Uh -uh. A vision of the one I see A million dreams is all it's gonna take oh, You singing? Do you want to sing with me? Every night I lie in bed <laughs> I want to sing over here, Dad. <laughs> She's moving away from the camera. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. J House out. J House out. Hi, I'm Cora Sipper from Hong Kong, and I made these two decorations with my best friend. I'm Julia from Ohio, and I made this bracelet. I'm Sophie, and I'm from South Dakota, and I made the Student Council and got an Academic Excellence Award for it. I'm Sarah, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I have dyslexia, and I got a perfect spelling test with no words wrong. Hi, my name is Awen, and I'm from Annapolis, Maryland, and I made this baby doll. I'm Alan, and I'm from England. I'm 12 years old, and I made these three things in design and technology. A pencil case, a flower pot pen holder, and a mouse. J House out. I've got a mouse stuck in my head. That one and that one. <laughs> we just got some news. 